Hi guys, Feds UFO here. Uh, I've been asked to do a video on uh, the different antennas that I have for the Bowfeng UV5R. Um, hopefully I can get a, a repeater on where it's going to... Uh, uh, you're going to be able to hear somebody on it with the different aerials. So I'm going to make, try, try and make it as quick as I can because I've got four to do. So We'll start off just with the uh, normal uh, aerial, the stock mic. Uh, the stock aerial you get with it. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll turn it on. Channel mode. And we're on the 433-300 repeat in Chesterfield, uh, which is about 20 miles or something from me. Bear in mind that the uh, camera does give off some static as well, and it isn't the ideal place, but bear with me. There is actually somebody on there. Okay, I'll take that off. Yeah, you've got to uh, you've got to get this uh, repeater in a certain place. Okay, here's the Nagoya. The Nagoya should uh, be a hell of a lot better uh, because you're still going to get that static. Tower bridge in the yeah. West Midlands, England. That's better. Zero whiskey, leave the Yankees. So, of course, on UHF you have to uh, move around the place F3, to try and get a. A decent uh, full quiet and signal. Anyway, that's an ago you compared to the stock one. Next we have the massive um, RH uh, 770 antenna. It's absolutely huge. Uh, as you can see, I can't even stretch out from the camera. So this should produce I mean, but you're getting a whole lot of static with it as well, I think. That's how big I've got my right down. Yeah, you, you have to move around <coughs> to get the uh, best signal uh, with all of these antennas. But, uh, and there's the, uh, the Diamond SR, SRH805S, little bullet antenna. Try and move it around a bit. Mm. As you can see, not very good on UHF. Although it does say it's. Uh, 144430 and 1200 megahertz, which is 6 meters, 2 meters, and 70 centimeters. So we'll put the Nagoya back in because that was the best one. And see what the next one is. Well, there you go. Yeah, as you can tell, it's uh, a hell of a lot better than uh, any of the other uh, antennas that I have. But like I say, with the being UHF, uh, you have to position it in a uh, where you can get a, a, a low, um, a full quieting signal if if it's all possible. But 
that wasn't very good. I didn't think it was anyway. Uh, I thought the stock antenna would have been a little bit better. And this huge, I'll pull it down for you so you can see the whole kind of thing. It's got a centre loaded coil there. Uh, it's really massive, this telescopic antenna, but as uh, you may be aware, telescope antennas aren't really the best. So, out of the lot, the uh, Nagoya 7 NA771 was a clear winner. Uh, that's the one I use all the time. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it shed a bit of light on some antennas for you. Um, different ones could work in different places for you, but uh, that's uh, the NA771 Nagoya is a, a good all rounder. Uh, it's slightly taller than you know what we wanted to be, but uh, it certainly picks up. It certainly picks up. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it shed us some light on this. And uh, thanks for watching. Please keep subscribing, and I'll come out with another video real soon. All the best from me, Fez UFO. Take care now. See you soon.